Have you ever experienced this? You buy a white car, and suddenly, it feels like every car on the road is white. This phenomenon, known as selective attention, or the Bader-Meinhof phenomenon, also applies to our topic today, friendship with a narcissist. Just as you start noticing white cars, when you begin learning about narcissism, it can feel like you're surrounded by people displaying narcissistic traits. It might seem like everyone you meet has a touch of narcissism, and you might even wonder if your own success somehow attracts these people into your life. Today, we're talking about how to tell if your friend is a narcissist. This video isn't here to single out or judge anyone displaying these signs or diagnosed with NPD. It's all about helping people understand and become more aware of how narcissists treat their friends. We'll cover four key aspects. One, understanding the difference between occasional narcissistic tendencies and full-blown narcissism. Identifying early warning signs of a narcissistic friend. Three, 18 distinct traits a narcissistic friend might have. Four, learning how to protect yourself and make informed decisions about the friendship. As we look deeper into each of these aspects, we'll provide you with practical examples and real-life scenarios to make it easier to understand and apply to your own situation. Plus, we'll share invaluable tips on setting boundaries, handling emotional manipulation, and deciding whether to continue or end a friendship with a narcissist. It's a comprehensive guide you won't want to miss, so stick around. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid grasp of what to watch out for and how to navigate relationships with potential narcissistic friends. There's a difference between narcissism and narcissistic tendencies. These might sound similar, but here is the distinction. Narcissistic tendencies refer to occasional behaviors or traits that many people may show at times. Like, for example, we all have moments when we want recognition or validation, and that's perfectly normal. True narcissism goes beyond these occasional tendencies. It's a personality disorder characterized by persistent and extreme traits, such as an overpowering sense of entitlement, chronic self-absorption, a lack of empathy, and a constant need for excessive admiration. So, when we talk about identifying narcissistic friends, we're looking for these enduring and extreme characteristics rather than occasional behaviors that most people display from time to time. What are the early warning signs of a narcissistic friend, and how can you identify them before investing too much in the relationship? Watch out for any of these six red flags. 1. Pay attention to how much they talk about themselves and their achievements. Is it all about them? Notice how they respond to you. Do they dismiss or trivialize your concerns? Do they constantly seek attention, admiration, and praise? 4. Do they expect special treatment, or do they act as if they deserve more than others? 5. Are you noticing any inconsistencies in how they act? Narcissists can very quickly switch between charming and critical. 6. Do they always try to one-up you in a conversation? If you've met someone and you're in that early friendship honeymoon phase, it's very similar to how an early romantic relationship evolves. They might shower you with attention to make you feel like you're the most important person in their life. They might also appear to have the same likes, dislikes, and beliefs as you, creating a sense of deep connection and compatibility. This mirroring makes you feel like you found a kindred spirit. They might copy your behaviors, adopting your interests, hobbies, or even your mannerisms. All of these tactics create an illusion of an ideal relationship, making it seem like you found the perfect friend. However, this initial phase is often a manipulation strategy to gain your trust. Once they've established a friendship, their true narcissistic traits start to emerge. So, what are those traits? Here's the list of 18, and these apply whether they're an overt or covert narcissist, regardless of gender or how malignant they are. 1. They tend to have over-the-top expectations of your friendship. You have to comply to their whims all the time. Expect that, except for the initial few months when they may seem considerate, you'll end up investing more into the friendship than you'll receive in return. 3. They will criticize and micromanage your life. If you don't follow their advice, they'll get angry. 4. They can become envious of your other friendships and relationships, especially if those people are attractive, successful, intelligent, or possess something they desire for themselves. 5. Narcissists show little consideration for your time and energy. They may be tardy, cancel last minute, or even forget about your plans. 6. They definitely have a double standard. If you inconvenience them the same way they've inconvenienced you, they'll get very upset. 7. Narcissists lack patience when it comes to your emotional needs, especially if they recently needed your support. 8. They are very easily set off over minor issues. Anything not going their way can trigger a hostile reaction. 9. Narcissistic friends won't admit when they're wrong and will use manipulation to avoid admitting their mistakes. 10. They will lie and spread rumors or fabricate stories. They will talk behind your back and thrive on gossip and drama. 11. If you introduce them to your other friends, they might replace you in your own friend group. 12. They will never be available when you need them, but if they do something nice for you on occasion, they will try using these good deeds as leverage or to guilt trip you in the future. 13. They lack empathy and focus on themselves and their own feelings instead of trying to put themselves in your shoes. 
14. They are jealous and envious. They always compare themselves to others, and they may become uncomfortable or resentful if their friends are doing better than them. 15. They crave constant praise and admiration, always desiring to be the focus of attention. When they're not, you can count on them to find a way to regain the spotlight. 16. They view you as their competition. They'll try to sleep with your friends. They'll try to break up your friendships with other people. 17. They have a skewed perspective on reality, and they would lie to themselves and make all kinds of excuses to maintain that skewed perspective. For example, if they fail at something, they might tell you that it's only because they haven't practiced enough. 18. They are masters at backhanded compliments. You can also realize you're in a narcissistic friendship by how being with this friend makes you feel. If you feel like you can't be yourself with them, that should be a big red flag right there. If you feel hesitant sharing information with them, ask yourself, why is that? If you find yourself giving while the narcissist just takes, leaving you feeling exploited, drained, and unappreciated, that alone is a dead giveaway. Manipulation is a huge part of any narcissist's behavior, so let's unpack the signs. They gaslight you. Imagine this. You and your friend decide to watch your favorite sports team at the sports bar after work. You text to confirm, and they reply with, sure, see you there. Hours later, just as you're about to leave for the bar, they message you saying, now oh, sorry, can't make it tonight. You never confirmed our plans. Or worse, you must have misunderstood. I never agreed. Or here's another one. Picture this. You guys had a heated argument about something in the past. It got resolved at the time, or so you thought. Now, months later, your friend brings up the same incident, but tells it completely differently. They say, you never listen, and that's why we had that fight. They manipulate group dynamics. Here's a scenario. You and your group of friends go out to eat every third Friday. It's your turn to choose the restaurant, and you suggest trying a new Mexican place you've heard good things about. Your friend quickly jumps in, saying, Mexican again? We haven't done Italian for a while. They keep saying that everyone might be tired of Mexican food by now. Gradually, the group agrees to go Italian. They play the victim. Let's imagine they call you in the middle of the night, sounding distressed. You rush to their aid, only to find out it was a minor issue they could have handled themselves. Or, they ignore your texts for days, but when you miss one of theirs, they explode with anger, accusing you of neglecting them. Or, you helped them move last month, and it was an all-day affair. Now, when you ask for a small favor, they react like you've asked for their kidney. They use triangulation. By creating alliances within your friend group and pitting you against each other, they might start sharing deep personal secrets with everyone else in your group but exclude you. Or they post pictures of themselves having a blast with mutual friends but conveniently leave you out. How do you protect yourself from this manipulation? First of, awareness is always the first step. Pay attention to patterns of their behavior and trust your intuition. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Second, set clear boundaries and communicate your limits. Narcissists often push boundaries. Stay firm in maintaining them. Third, be selective about what you share with this friend. Narcissists love using your vulnerabilities against you. When they try to manipulate you, stay calm and rational. Avoid reacting emotionally as this can fuel them even more. If the manipulation continues, despite your efforts, sometimes ending it is the healthiest choice for you. In extreme cases, you may need to go no contact to protect yourself. If you are in the middle of a friendship with a narcissist, boundaries are so important, but how do you set them without causing conflict? Well, first of all, stay assertive and unemotional while discussing these boundaries. Use I statements, for example, say, I need some space to recharge, rather than, you're too demanding. Be very specific about what you expect. Don't explain or justify your boundaries. You don't owe them that. Expect resistance. They may not respond well to your boundaries and may even try to manipulate or guilt trip you, but it's critical that you avoid getting drawn into power struggles or arguments. For example, you get together for a drink after work. You've had a terrible day and you need to unload, but your friend constantly interrupts you with comments about themselves. So you say, hey, time out. When I'm sharing something important, I'd like the chance to finish my story before we switch topics. It would mean a lot to me. Can you stay friends with a narcissist? Should you? Before we get to that, if you found this video helpful so far, please subscribe. And you might also like this other video we made about narcissists. You can watch it by clicking on the link posted at the end of this video. So, stay or go. Do this. Write out all the things you would have to deal with and just be very honest with yourself about the cost you would pay for such a relationship compared to what you would gain. Also, if you choose to remain friends with them, please realize that this relationship will always be transactional to them. Once they have nothing to get from you, they will drop you. Narcissists tend to cycle through their friends pretty quickly. And last but not least, this friendship will remain pretty superficial 
You don't want to share any secrets because it's almost a guarantee that they will use it against you someday, but also because narcissists are too shallow for deep relationships. Where do I find support? Start by educating yourself. If you find that this friendship is impacting your mental health, consider seeking help from a licensed therapist. Joining support groups or online communities can provide a sense of validation and a platform to share experiences and advice, but these should never be considered a replacement for professional help. Confide in trusted friends and family members. They can offer empathy as well as their own perspective. If the narcissistic behavior escalates to a point where it threatens your safety or involves legal issues, please seek legal advice. Ending any friendship, even a toxic one, can still evoke feelings of loss and sadness. It's okay to grieve the end of the relationship and the hope you had for it. As you move forward, use the lessons learned from this experience. Protect yourself from similar situations in the future.